we knew it was going to be a risky mission because the weather was outside of the 45's parameters. We don't go out above 30 knot winds, however the winds were both blowing above 55 knots that day. So we were getting a little, you know, anxious, ready to go, and then when we found out there were two children on board, that really um, ramped up, you know, our feelings and emotions, because I have children myself, and getting out there to save the children, there was, there was no question that, you know, we were ready to go right away. You know, the more qualified people we can get out there with more experience, the better for a situation like this, because we knew it was a case that none of us had ever worked before, and these were the strongest winds any of us have ever been out in with the, the platform we were on. Luckily for me, we had another coxswain on board, and he's very experienced and a, and a great boat driver, so I asked him to take over. Photography is a hobby of mine, and I, I knew, like, in this situation, like, this is a, not an everyday case. I, like, I got to get pictures of this. So once, once he took over, he made really great approaches and everything like that. I was still running around, you know, I wanted to help these guys, doing what I can to help out the crew, keeping communications with the helicopter on scene, with the uh, sector, and then running around so I could get pictures of them making the rescue. As I was getting some pictures, stepping out on deck, luckily we approached from our port side to the starboard side of the shrimp vessel. And because they're a bigger boat, they were blocking some of the winds, making it a little bit easier for us to walk around on deck. But as I went over to the port side, I really started feeling those winds as the sea spray, the rain, everything was blowing straight at the lens of my camera. And you could really see the, the effects it was having on the people as they were trying to transit from the shrimp boat to our boat. What made us successful in this SAR case was, one was the crew was outstanding. Uh, a lot of experienced guys on there, and then everyone was super positive about getting out there and completely committed to getting those people off the boat, especially once we hear children. For me as a father, it kind of hits home, you know, you want to you save the innocence of a child. And everybody was just completely committed to getting out there, doing the job and getting back. Great teamwork, communications with sector, with the helo that was flying overhead helping us. They also had rescue swimmers on the shrimp boat assisting. So just all around, it's just great teamwork.